again and welcome to Yorkshire Shotgun and Outdoor Channel. Um, this is our latest acquisition. Um, it's a uh, 13 foot tandem kayak uh, bought from uh, Cambridge Kayaks from eBay. How much was it, Mark? Three nine nine and forty. Three pound ninety nine. Yep, and forty pound postage. <laughs> Three hundred and ninety nine quid plus four forty quid postage. Um, it comes with the the paddles, the seats, two life jackets. Um, it also comes with a, a trolley as well. Um, unfortunately, they were out of stock on trolleys, so we're having to wait for the next delivery from uh, from China. Um, so let's have a closer look at it. Very impressed with the build quality. Um, it's really good. I expected it to be uh, edges and, and burrs and, and stuff like that on it, but no, not at all. It's really well made. It's quite heavy as well, which is, uh, I guess, a good sign. <laughs> um, it comes with these uh, these two um, swivel mounts for your fishing rods. Um, but we'll be jigging most of the time, I would have imagined, so they probably won't go in there um, as often. And we've got a drain plug at the front with eight scupper holes because these uh, these things are self-draining thankfully so we have two tackle pods this one's um, a solid watertight one um, the other one the one at the back has a dry bag in it uh, which can be removed uh, but this one is, is right into the hull um, so we can use that to uh, to mount our uh, transducer for the fish finder when we uh, when we get one. So there we are. That's an eight inch rod holder at the back, and the seat adjustable, but they're very comfortable, believe it or not. Right at the very back, we have a small area for storage um, with the bungees not sure I will use that though and uh, a couple of rod holders uh, flush mounted rod holders this will probably be only used for transportation um, when we sort of get out to a fishing mark hopefully so we'll see um, there's two D clips here one on either side um, they can be used for attaching all sorts of little bits and pieces to. However, I think the main reason for them is you can turn this into a into a single seater should you so desire. Um, which all you need to do is you just put the seat in this position here, take the other two, take the two seats out, put one in the middle, and you've got a, a single seat kayak. It doesn't come with the the graphics. Um, my brother Mark makes those on his uh, CNC cutter and that's a little advertisement there for, for Cambridge Kayak I've also added uh, an anchor trolley which is used to uh, put your anchor on funnily enough and box you up into position there <coughs> you attach your anchor to the ring and then you can either Move it to the stern or to the bow, depending on where you want to anchor and what you wanted to do. I've also got a drug parachute, um, which I haven't got with me at the minute, um, but that uh, that can go on the anchor trolley as well. Um, but we're planning on getting a half anchor trolley for the other side um, to be used the, for the for the drug. The seats have also got these handy little bags on the back. Um, which are useful for well for your sandwiches and for your for your food and your crisps etc. Don't know how waterproof they are. I'm, I'm sure they're water resistant. Um, being on a kayak, you'd like to think they were at least. So um, let's have a look at how much room you've got in it. We've got quite a lot of leg room. It's surprisingly comfortable. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like after about eight hours, but uh, it's certainly comfortable. When you first sit in the seat, you think it's loose, but it's meant to be like that because when you sat up straight like that, it's comfortable. But if you want to slide forward, you just slide forward, and the whole thing slips, and you can just sit back and relax. 
we've got several foot positions there where you can you can make yourself really comfortable. And obviously, you know, it's not taking off. There we are. Okay, we've got a nice fishing tackle box there. Which I'll we'll show you in a minute. Fishing rod, fishing rod holder. Easily reachable from uh, front back seat, and in there we have all our new lures and rigs and what have you. See weedless uh, plastic, soft plastic baits, and we've got some some nice plugs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, for bass and cord etc. Mackerel even. Easily peasily get in there. Uh, <clears throat> the inside of the box has got as knives and as pliers and all sorts of other bits and pieces. Easily accessible from the back seat. Over here we've got a net bag which dangles in the water. What this is for is to uh, is to put the fish inside um, once we've, uh, we've caught some if we catch some um, and it keeps them fresh because if we if we're out all day and it's a warm day <laughs> we should be so lucky but if it's a warm day then you can keep your fish nice and cool in the water here's the anchor system attached to the anchor trolley diver's reel um, to let out the line three feet of chain galvanized chain and a 1.5 kilogram grapnel anchor with a bridle um, attachment and what that does so I'll just hand the camera to my brother if for some reason the anchor gets stuck and you can't and it won't come out all you do is you paddle the other way this ring will then slide to the other side of the anchor Backwards, so it stops any uh, any snags. Of course, you can move the uh, the anchor to the front if you want to go on the front, or if you've got your your drug shoot on the front, you can pull this to the back. Um, and that's about it. What can I say about Cambridge kayaks? If you're looking for a cheap, um, well made kayak, give these guys a try. Yeah, you do have to buy some extras, um, you do have to get your all your anchors and your anchor trolleys and things like that because it basically comes as a shell just with the seats, um, the trolley and the, uh, the life jackets. Uh, so you do need to spend a bit, uh, you also need to think about clothing, what we're going to have uh, on as bodies that we're going to be wearing. Um, we've not quite decided yet. I think we're going to go for flotation suits. I think that's what we're going to what we've decided on. Um, so we'll get those very shortly. Um, I've got another fishing rod coming, so we'll have two fishing rods. And uh, with any luck, decent weather, we should have some uh, some fishing videos too. So uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching. <laughs>